Okay, here's our next video. So in this one, I'll show you how to draw a few other simple shapes um, and a few more features related to that. So last time we drew our rectangle. So there's a bunch of other very, very simple shapes that are already in the program um, to make it easy to draw. So first thing, when you look at any one of these tools here, you see this tiny little arrow in the... Um, on the lower right hand corner of each one of these tools. So anytime there's one of these tiny little triangles, that means there's more tools underneath it. So to access uh, those extra tools, you click and hold. So I'm going to click and hold on this rectangle tool. And you now see a bunch of other tools as well. So these are all other simple shapes that you can draw. Rounded rectangles, ellipses, which are basically ovals and circles, polygons, and star tool. And I'm not really sure what the flare tool does, but that's all right. We won't really use it. Okay, so these are uh, just for drawing these other simple shapes. And most of these you will need to use on that first assignment. So let's just go to uh, an ellipse tool. Okay, so you're going to work this way. And the, the uh, keyboard shortcut is L. So you're going to draw this the same way you would the rectangle. Just click, hold, and drag, and you can draw... I'm going to switch this. So this still has the settings on it from the previous shapes I was drawing. So I'm just going to switch it back to that default fill and strokes. So if you click these ones right here, this just switches back to that white fill and a black stroke. Okay. Okay. So back to that ellipse tool, keyboard shortcut L. So just draw a couple of these. So once you've drawn these again, same way as with the rectangle, switch to your selection tool, the letter V, and you can click and resize these how you want. Pretty simple and straightforward. If you want to delete one, just make sure it's selected and hit delete. Um, all right, so sometimes you may want to draw a perfect circle. This also works with the rectangle tool if you want to draw a perfect square. So I'm going to click and drag, but as I'm doing that, so it gets skinny and turns into these ellipses or ovals. If I want it to be a perfect circle, I hold shift. So now that locks it, so it constrains the proportions there. So I, every time is going to be a perfect circle. The same thing will work with my rectangle tool if I go back to that. I hold shift, and it, as I'm dragging that, I hold shift, and then it's a perfect square. So pretty useful, straightforward for drawing those perfect squares and circles. All right, so if you want to make a rectangle that is a specific size, which is part of the first project, um, rather than clicking and dragging, some of you guys might have noticed this already as you've been messing around with the tool. If you click once, it brings up this option box. So it says rectangle at the top, meaning it's going to create a rectangle. And you can put in the specific size you want for a rectangle. So I think on the project, they have to be two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Then I just hit OK. And I have a very specifically two and a half by two and a half inches there. Okay. So this, so all these tools do the same thing or uh, similar things, dry simple shapes. So I can draw a rounded rectangle. Polygon or a star. So the polygon is the only one that has a few other options here. And so to use this, so it starts out with a six sided polygon. And in order to change the amount of sides, so if you want to do a triangle, octagon, any other sort of shape, this is when you do that single click. Again, rather than clicking and dragging, if I click once, oops, if I click once, it gives me an option for the amount of sides I want on that. So I can go down to three sides and make it a triangle. Four sides would just be a rectangle, obviously. So however many I want. So let's just make a triangle first. Oops, it's very small there. But I can make it bigger. Switch back to that polygon tool. Click again. Let's make a eight-sided. And this is just the radius, so I can make this a little bit bigger, four-inch radius. So yeah, that's pretty big now. But just by clicking with either the rectangle tool, I can click and make a specific size rectangle, or the polygon tool, I can click and make a specific size, specifically size polygon. Okay. So once these are all created, now I can manipulate those the way I did uh, with any old, with any shape. So just select any shape, and I can come down here, the one that's selected, double click on the fill, 
double click on the stroke just to change the colors of those click on this go up to the top make the stroke thicker you can change the color of that stroke as well up here you can do that for any of the shapes okay just notice again here we got a green fill and a blue stroke so it displays green fill blue stroke down here then when I select this new one it's back to that default so this will always show you same up here what the characteristics of your different shapes are okay so that should be pretty useful and uh, one more way uh, as I close out this video to select multiple things so if I want to delete all of these you can use this selection tool so switch to the selection tool letter V and I can drag and draw a box can you see this It's kinda of hard to see but there's a small box being created and I can draw that around multiple shapes so I can then select all of these shapes here and delete all of them once I'm done okay that is it for this video drawing different sorts of shapes different sorts of polygons and uh, creating ones that are a specific size and also holding shift as you draw those to keep them either a perfect square or a perfect circle. Alright, that's it for this one.